Hi, I'm Christine from Remake Scotland and this is the fourth in our series of Repair Cafe videos. And today we're going to be talking about hems. So we've all done it, bought something and it's too long and you don't wear it because it's too long and you don't want to take the hem up. Or maybe you've got something that you had for ages in your wardrobe and it needs a bit of updating and shortening something is a good way to do it. So that's what we're going to cover today. Now most garments nowadays have got um, a machine sewn hem like this one where you can actually see the stitching and if you're taking up a hem on a garment and you have a sewing machine then this is a perfectly good way to do it but if you don't have a sewing machine or if the garment that you're going to alter is something a little more dressy like for example these trousers you cannot see the stitching in those um, so if you don't have a sewing machine or it's something a bit posh then I'm going to show you a method of taking up a hem where no stitching is visible. But first of all, we're going to look at how to measure. Okay, so I'm not going to demonstrate on a garment because it's easier to show you on a smaller piece of fabric. But here we have, let's say this is a skirt, and there's the hem sewn with the machine stitching. But this is too long, and you want to take it up. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is try it on and decide how much shorter it needs to be. Um, it's actually much more helpful if you have somebody to help you with that, but you can just turn it up yourself and experiment. So let's, for the sake of this, let's say we're going to take this hem up by 6 centimetres. So I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to mark 6 centimetres up from the existing hem line. Now I'm doing this with a pencil and I'm doing it very lightly, basically so that we can see what we're doing. Um, if you're doing this while you're trying it on, you probably want to use pins along the line, which is also a good way of doing it. So once we've marked the hemline, I'm going to turn the fabric up on that line and turning it to the wrong side. So once you've got it all measured and turned up like that, press it. This makes life a lot easier if everything's pressed in place. So now we have the new hem marked and turned under, but we've got all this fabric, so what are we going to do with this? Now in order to make a proper hem, we can't just cut that off obviously because it would fray, we're going to have to sew it, and we, what we want to do is cut enough fabric so that you can have a hem that's about a centimetre wide, plus a turn in of about another half to three quarters of a centimetre. So, before I cut anything, I'm going to measure again. So this time I'm going to measure up from a new hemline, and I'm going to measure up, uh, let's make it two centimetres. Now we're working on the wrong side of the fabric here. This time I'm going to draw this line in, because this is where we're going to cut. If you're not very experienced at cutting fabric, it's a good idea to draw it on so that it keeps you straight. Okay. okay, so now I'm going to cut along the line that we have just made. That means I'm cutting off the old hem and creating somewhere for a new one to be. Okay, so now we have our hem turned up. We can't just sew here because if you just cut a piece of fabric, it will fray. So what we need to do is we need to turn in about a third of the hem allowance that we've made. And again, use an iron. Again, measure it if you feel you need to. Turn it in and press it. And then you can turn it up on your previously made hemline and then you're ready to sew. So that's it all prepared and ready. Now if I was sewing this by machine I would just go ahead and stitch it as it is. If I were going to sew it by hand I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. Either way it's a good idea to pin it in place. I'm only dealing with a small piece of fabric here, but if you're dealing with a skirt or something, you know, it's quite a long seam, and you want to make sure it doesn't come out while you're working. So 
So that is the new hem taken up and ready to sew. Now if you're going to do it on a sewing machine, you just want to stitch it fairly close to the edge there, just about where I put those pins. But, okay, you don't have a sewing machine or you want an invisible hem. So now I'm going to show you how to do that. So here's one that I prepared earlier <laughs> and I have turned the hem up, double turned it, and I have stitched part of it just for, to show you how it works. So that part there has already been stitched. And if I turn it over onto the right side, you'll notice that you cannot see any of the stitching. Yeah? And that's what we want to achieve if possible. So I'm going to show you how to sew that. Now I stitched that with a matching thread so that it is truly invisible. For the demonstration, I'm going to use a different colored thread just so that you can see better what I'm doing. Right, so here we have the seam that I have, the, the hem that I have partially sewn, and I'm going to continue the rest, but I'm going to use a contrast thread so you can see it better. I'm going to make a knot in my thread, loop, pass the needle through, just make a little knot just to hold it. You have to clip off the end of the thread. Now I'm going to start by putting this into the fold. So the thread is coming up behind and it's going into the fold of the fabric. And then I'm going to start stitching. Now in order to make this more or less invisible, it's a little fiddly, but it's not difficult. So what I'm going to do is I'm going into the main body of the fabric and I'm literally catching one thread of the fabric. And then I'm going to take my needle up and through the hem. Okay. It doesn't matter if you see the fabric on this, uh, the, the thread on this side so much, but we're not going to see it on this side. So again, into the main fabric, leave just one thread, and then into the hem of this. Just do a few stitches like that, just to show you. Just one thread, possibly two, doesn't matter if you get two, it still won't show. Don't have to be terribly close together, they can be about well, almost a centimeter apart, perhaps six or seven millimeters would be better. And you just go along your hem like that, lifting one thread or two if you can't lift one. It's a little fiddly. And then along. I'll do a couple more stitches and then I'll show you. You notice I've pinned and I'm just going to remove the pins as I go along. Okay, so you go all the way around the hem like that. And if I flip it over, I hope, <laughs> you won't be able to see the stitches. You can just about see them because I've used a different colour, but there is no stitching showing on the right side of your hem at all which is what you want to aim for, and you end up with a lovely, neat finish. And again, give it a press once you finish sewing it. Now we've done a double turn hem here, and that's what you will do on thinnish fabrics. Or this is just a, a medium thin weight cotton. Um, but if you were sewing with a more tricky fabric, for example, something like a tweed, which is a thicker fabric, something like this. The problem then is, if you turn up the hem, and then you make another turn, you're going to end up with something very, very bulky and it's not going to look nice, it's not going to look at all professional. So when you're dealing with a fabric like this, what you need to do is you need to do some kind of finish on this edge. We can't leave it as a raw edge because it will free out and the hem will come down. So what I've done here is I have sewn along the edge with my sewing machine and I have shown sewn a zigzag. Okay, now that will stop it from fraying. And again, that is absolutely fine if you have a sewing machine. But if you don't have a sewing machine, I'm going to show you an easy way of doing it. And again, I'm going to use a different thread so you can see what I'm doing. Not. And this is just called whip stitch. And it sounds a bit serious, but it's actually very easy to do. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle, do a stitch to start it off. And I'm just going to sew over the edge of the fabric so you can see how that thread, you can see it but it doesn't matter, 
because it's going to be on the wrong side of your hem and obviously you would use a matching colour anyway. And all I'm doing is just sewing over the edge. I'm coming in about perhaps four millimetres or so. I'm just sewing over the edge of the fabric. So if you go all the way along like that, that is finishing the edge and it will not free. It will free out <laughs> to there, <laughs> but no further. So you won't have any problem. And then you can go along and you can sew the hem as we did with the last one. So we're just picking up one thread. I haven't finished this edge, but I'm just doing this to show you. One thread, and in. And again, you will end up with a very neat hem, no stitches showing, and it will be nice and flat, and hopefully elegant looking. So that's what you want to do if you're dealing with a thick fabric, where it's too thick to do a double turn on the hem something like a tweed or any kind of woolen fabric, perhaps even denim. Um, but that is for the next lesson because jeans are probably the most common thing that you will need to take up, unless you're very lucky and have legs the exact length of the jeans that are in the shops. So I'm going to show you in the next video a way to take up your jeans to get a really easy and prepared